GSMI presents Reformation and Revival Now. This is our conclusion of our foundational studies in Hebrews 6. We are on foundation number six, eternal judgment, divided into two parts, one for the believer and one for the non-believer. But more importantly, or totally, it is the revelation of Jesus Christ. The judgment seat of Christ, which is for believers, and the great white throne judgment, which, which is for all those who have not believed. Both judgments have serious consequences. Let's see what Jesus has to say in John 12, 46. I have come as a light into the world that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not believe, I do not judge him. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my words as that which judges him, the word that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. 1 Corinthians 3, 13. Each one's work will become clear for the day will declare it because it will be revealed by fire and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work which he has built on it endures, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as by fire. This is the judgment for those who are disciples of Christ, believers. But for everyone else who has not believed the unrepentant, Revelations 20, the great white throne judgment, is all that there is left. Starting with verse 11, Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there were found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. The sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them. And they were judged, each one according to his works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. The books have recorded every deed you have done. So we need to repent of our sins. Because afterward... When, when God goes to those books, he will sentence you to the lake of fire if you have not repented of your sin and received Jesus. This is not why Jesus came. He came to save us from this terrible place, not for us to go here. So this is why we preach the gospel. You need to be on the right side of eternal judgment and not on the wrong side. Believe the good news of Jesus Christ, his cross, his resurrection from the dead. So Tanya and I have not only believed, but we have been servants and we have been followers of Jesus preaching this message both locally and internationally. This is why Reformation and Revival Now was formed, to preach the elementary gospel of Jesus Christ, preaching Jesus as he really is, and as he really presented the gospel many years ago, starting with repentance, faith towards God, then the doctrine of baptisms and the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment. Now you have a decision to make if you have not received Christ to receive him now. But if you're a Christian that has been walking with Christ, I exhort you, the day is coming. So if you are going to receive reward and to honor him, get with it. Do what God has called you to do because you're going to give an account for your life and what you did with what Jesus gave you. Well, this concludes our foundational teachings on the doctrine of Christ. I hope it was a blessing to you. I will see you in videos to come. Bye-bye.